Welcome to The Joy of Music. Featuring as hostess, Diane Bish, the First Lady of the Organ. Praise ye the Lord. Praise Him in His sanctuary. Praise Him with stringed instruments and organs. Let everything that hath breath praise the Lord. Ladies and gentlemen, Miss Diane Bish. I want to welcome you to the joy of music. Today on the program, we are going to be featuring the music of Johann Sebastian Bach. Bach was a master of pictorial writing and descriptive composition. And on the program today, we're going to be hearing many of Bach's varied compositions. We are entitling the program, therefore, The Many Moods of Bach. And as you listen to this music, I know you're going to be delighted and enriched by all of the wonderful variation and different moods of this great composer. The first number you will be hearing today on the program is Bach's most famous composition, the Toccata and Fugue in D minor. The organ was Bach's favorite instrument, and Bach was known as a great virtuoso organist all over Germany. And whenever a church bought an organ, in Germany, they would call upon the great Johann Sebastian Bach to come and play the organ to see if it was all right. And the first thing that Bach would do when he came to a new organ is to sit down and pull out all of the stops or all of the different sounds. The reason he did this was, as he called it, to test the lungs of the instrument to see if it it could stand under the strain of having all of the stops pulled at one time. And in the Toccata and Fugue in D minor, we begin with all of the stops and all of the resources of the organ as if to really test the lungs of this great instrument.
Johann Sebastian Bach was a composer who had a deep personal faith in God, and his music and faith were inseparable. Bach wrote on his compositions, both sacred and secular, to God be the glory and Jesus help me. Especially in his hymn and scripture settings, Bach was most descriptive. He used musical motives to describe the text. Take, for instance, in one of his New Year's cantatas, he is trying to describe the text of come with glad rejoicing, come with shouting, and he uses a musical motive that sounds like this. The mood of this composition is one of joy in facing the new year with God. Bach has all of the parts bouncing around the scale as though they were instruments, and every part has the melody, but they are all singing it at a different time. We are listening on the joy of music today to the many moods of Bach. We first heard a very stately composition and then one of great rejoicing. We turn now to a very solemn mood. Although Bach was not a romantic composer per se, he did write very expressive melodies and warm harmonies. Let's listen now to great artists and combination of instruments as they play the many moods of Bach from great solemnity to great rejoicing.
Bach again uses the motive of joy with great skips and leaps on the keyboard in one of his happiest compositions, In Thee is Gladness. The melody is heard both in the pedal and the hands as it goes from one to the other. This is the chorale prelude, In Thee is Gladness. You have been listening on the joy of music today to the many moods of Bach. Bach was a man with a great personal faith in a living God. And as we have heard on the program today, he displayed this faith through the many moods and variations of his music. Thank you so much for joining us on the program today, and we look forward to seeing you again next week. <music>